Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the fourth video on how to do Nexus API automation using Python. In this video, we'll see how to initiate API connection to Nexus from Postman. And we'll be using message format JSON RPC. In the previous video, we have seen how to initiate API from Python. We have seen how to send show command, show hardware command we have seen and we pass the output. We try to get some details from the entire JSON output. Then we have seen how to send configuration using JSON RPC message format. And then how to handle some of the exceptions. We have seen that as well in the previous video. So here we'll be using Postman. And one thing we always need to remember is if you're using JSON RPC, the method is always going to be post. Because we are not using any data model here, we are just sending some data to the server and getting the response. And to get the request format, we can go to the API sandbox. Here you should be able to see the data first will send a show command. So here what we can do is I'll create a new request. I have a collection here with NX API JSON RPC. I'll give a name and next API show hardware and method is going to be post and URL is going to be HTTPS the device IP 192.168.0.201 slash INS and you can see the URL here in the sandbox as well so it is slash INS and once you give that you need to set the authorization so authorization is going to be basic auth with username and password either i can give the credentials directly here like this or i can set an environment here like you can go to the environment details and add an environment with the credentials admin and the username password and that variable you can call in the api authentication so here i already have an environment setup so you can see here variable is username and password and values are admin admin uh, you need you just need to set only the initial value current value will automatically get populated once you set that we will call that variable here username and password now I don't have to go and set the password everywhere I can just call this variable wherever I'm going to use NX API and once you set the authorization you need to go to headers and here the content type should be application slash json rpc so we need to set that i will type content type and application slash json hyphen rpc we need to manually give that and then inside body we need to go to row and we will paste the data and let us try sending this data and if you are connecting to HTTPS you need to make sure if you don't have valid SSL certificate for Nexus you need to disable this else you will be getting SSL validation error now we will try sending this and you can see here the method is CLI I have explained about all these methods earlier CLI will give the data in JSON format, the structured data format. And here in headers, we should be able to see other details. You can leave it as, as it is. And here you can see authorization. So this is base 64 encoded value of the value, whatever we have given here 
the username and password so rest you can leave as it is now we'll try sending the data and we are receiving the response in json format in python we have seen how to parse those output but we can validate this even from postman and here if you check the cookies we should be able to see the cookie details as well and here if we change the method to cli underscore array we will go and check the syntax here cli underscore array if we give again it will be in a json format so again it will be in a json format later we'll see the exact difference between that now we'll change this to ascii now let us try sending it now we are getting it in a plain text format the output you can use any of these methods to parse the output if you already have some parsing mechanism available with regex or text fso you can use the same output this is going to be same text command output so this is how you can get the configuration for show command now we'll see how to send a configuration we'll go to python script and get the config i will copy the entire payload here in the message format if you're using the native json format you can actually send multiple commands in single line that we'll see when we look into the json this is called native json format now we will pass the all these commands as it is let us go to postman and paste this and we'll remove all the commented line this is an invalid line which we were testing with the rollback on error mechanism now before sending the config we can re remove the interface config default one slash two so now we don't have any config we are going to push four lines of config so these are the lines interface e one slash two description no switch port and ip address let us try sending this So now this command execution is successful now we can verify the device config so now we are able to configure device from postman as well i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to connect to nexus from postman thanks for watching see you in the next video